In her first meeting with ICAD's Law Enforcement Cluster Thursday, Vice President Lenny Robredo revealed that the bulk of illegal drugs smuggled here hails from China. But her co-chair, Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency Chief Aaron Aquino, corrected Robredo. He said most of the drugs now come from the Golden Triangle, near the borders of Myanmar, Laos, and Thailand. He says the drugs are often packed in tea bags with Chinese markings, but they are not from China. Baka na misunderstood niya kasi yung tea pack are all uh, packed in Chinese characters. Eh. Baka akala niya galing sa China, but it's not. Y yun ang trademark uh, ng, ng, ano, ng uh, Golden Triangle Drug Syndicate. Aquino said the syndicate produces heroin, opium, and cocaine, but their number one product is meth or shabu. Enforcers here have started seizing drugs from the group in 2018, and this year, almost 3 billion pesos worth of shabu was confiscated. One big operation na nangyari yung uh, nakarecover tayo ng drugs sa MICP nagaling sa magnetic lifters, if you can remember that. According to Aquino, party drugs like ecstasy often come from the Netherlands and Europe, while cocaine is sourced from Peru or Colombia. He added, with China's strict laws, syndicates were forced to outsource production. Instead of manufacturing their, their drugs inside, uh, uh, bumibili na sila ng finished products sa uh, Golden Triangle Syndicates. And then pagbili nila, in-smuggle na yung drugs na yung papasok sa ating bansa. At yesterday's meeting, Aquino said Robredo asked for the list of high-value targets. But Aquino strongly disagreed with the request. In the first place, eh, the question is why, why do you need uh, a, 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 a list of high-value targets? For, for what? Eh, unless siya mag-ooperate ng high-value targets that you need a list. Aquino said it is normal to have disagreements, but it would be better if their duties and responsibilities as co-chairs are clarified first. Pati na rin ako para mas klaro. So hindi ko alam eh, uh, uh, sa level niya ba pwede na siyang mag-imbestiga kasi parang hindi na rin namin mandate siya na. Aquino will meet with Robredo again after three months. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News. But what exactly is this Asian drug syndicate? The Golden Triangle, coined by the Central Intelligence Agency, or CIA, is an area where the borders of Laos, Myanmar, and Thailand meet. It's approximately 950,000 square kilometers. It is said to be one of, one of Asia's top dogs in the drug trade. The other is the Golden Crescent, comprised of Afghanistan, Iran, and Pakistan. Both have exported narcotics to the world for decades. Opium has been the Golden Triangle's brand leader since the 80s, but in recent years it has shifted to manufacturing crystal meth and other synthetic drugs. The Golden Triangle smuggles drugs in at least a dozen countries including Japan, South Korea, Australia, and New Zealand. In the Philippines, the PIDEA has tagged the group as the possible source of the 1.9 billion peso worth of crystal meth seized at a Cavite warehouse. In the same month, the Star reported on the PIDEA saying that the cocaine bricks recovered in the waters off the islands of Dinagat and Chagao may have come from the syndicate. And so is the case in the, in the March confiscation of a 1.8 billion peso worth of Shabu shipment at the Manila port. Now, over the years, there's been little success in taking down Asia's drug lords. The last time that an Asian drug kingpin was successfully prosecuted and imprisoned was in the 1970s. Nang Sik Ho, also known as Limpi Ho, was sentenced to 30 years in prison for smuggling 1,000 kilos of opium and morphine. ICAD agencies should speak up if they are apprehensive to share information with Vice President Lenny Robredo. This was the response of her spokesman, Barry Gutierrez, after Interior Undersecretary Rico Judge Echeverri raised concerns about relaying data to the new ICAD co-chair. In the interview of Echeverri in One News' The Chiefs, he admits to having mixed feelings about the VP's new role. What, I, what we're looking at is whether is she really for real of helping us? or just um, looking into things that might uh, be used against us. He says, however, that agencies are still trying to get to know Robredo. Echeverri suggests that maybe the drug czar can help government connect with the church, which is a vocal critic of the campaign. There's this program of former secretary, DILG secretary, Jesse Robredo, mm -hmm. of the Ugnayan ng Barangay at Simbahan. Mm -hmm. 
And we recognize the importance of the participation of the church. But it seems that the church, even if we continuously dialogue with them, has reservations.